All right, hopefully you uh, read the challenges for this one here. First one is we want to get the banana every second or so changing its direction. So uh, you're asked to do this in the step event. So we'll go to the banana. We'll go to the step event. Remember that this is taking place 30 times a second. And we'll put a little bit of code here. That's a big code window. There we go. Okay, what we want to do here is just hit pick a random number. So let's just pick any number. So I'll just call it some number equals i random range 0 to 30. Now, if the number happens to come out to be a 1, okay, a little bit of a small chance. If some number is a 1, then I should change the direction of the banana. That's the banana's direction variable. Remember, even though we're in the step event, we're still coding in the banana. So you can just say direction equals, and we're going to pick another random number here. I random range 0 to 359. And that's it. That should have the banana changing direction every second or so. Let's give it a try. Okay, and they're all going crazy. Nice. Very mesmerizing. Okay, moving on with the next part of the challenge. It wants to make the burger jump around. So, same sort of idea here. Burger already has some code in the step event. You should remember what that was. That was actually creating the bananas in the first place every once in a while. We're going to do a similar idea. You can just tag code here. Remember your code sheets. I can even reuse the variable num. But these code sheets are very long. You can have thousands and thousands and thousands of lines in here. Okay, so a lot of the time we just add on to existing code. Num equals i random range. And I think it wanted something like 0 to 1,000. And then the question was, if the number was less than 10. So let's say less than or equal to 10. Sorry for the typos there. If it's less than or equal to 10, jump it to a new position. Now, I'm coding inside the burger. All I have to do is I can set the x to a new position and set the y variable to a new position number here, and that'll actually make the burger move. Now, what are good values? The reason I chose 400, 400 there was, in my room settings, the room is 400 by 400. So you probably want to jump it to within these ranges so you still see the burger. I random range. 0 to 400, and I random range, 0 to 400. Remember, anywhere where you would normally put a number, like let's say you're going to put 100 there, anywhere you put a number, you can replace that with the random number command, because that is a number. That's it. What we should see every once in a while now is our burger hopping around. And I'll bring back the code afterwards for you. It's a bit of a scary game here. Anyways, looks like it's working. And just a peek of that code again. Right, That was the segment we added right there. When you think about it, 10 numbers or less out of 1,000, that's a 1% chance every step. And the step's happening 30 times a second. So you can maybe calculate the odds. If you're not good with the math and the odds to how often it would move, hey, it's free to try. Just keep changing the number until you get the results you like. That's it for those two challenges.
enjoy. Uh, the next uh, segment is going to get you to do some more random stuff with if statements that gives you even more function. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.